everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Emma if you're new here and I'd love if you subscribed if you are new to join our little sewing creative outshine family here. <laughs> and so for this video we are, I actually filmed this for a client's project. She wanted a circle skirt with a corset back because Sometimes you gain weight, sometimes you lose weight. And she wanted to have a skirt that was flexible with her weight as, you know, everyone gains and losses throughout their life. So yeah, let's get into making this circle skirt with a corset back. First, you're gonna start up by cutting out all your pieces. You're gonna want two half circle pieces, your pockets, your waistband. And then for me, since we're making this a corset closure, you're going to want that piece to go behind the corset so that your bottom doesn't show when you have it stretched out a little bit. Then you're going to serge the sides of your half circles as well as the edges of your pockets. Then attach your pockets four inches down from the top on each side seam. Once you sew those, you can iron this pocket open and then top stitch it down so that it stays hidden when you're wearing the skirt. Now face the front and the back together and sew along the side seams going around the pocket doing a little jupe and making sure not to seal off your pocket. Then you're going to press the seams so that they lay flat. And then you're going to want to press the pocket so it's facing forward.
Next, take your waistband piece and fold it right sides together and we're going to sew just the ends and leaving the middle open. Then we're going to turn it around, press those seams, and then do a basting stitch along the bottom so that we can attach it to the waistband of the skirt. Now serge the top of the skirt and the bottom of the skirt so that we can add our waistband and hem the bottom of the skirt. Now pin the waistband to the top of the skirt, right sides together and sew along that seam. Now onto the corset closure of this skirt, you're going to make a rectangle that is two inches longer than the depth of your slit in the back, and then however wide you want it to be, plus two inches for the back. Then you are going to sew along the two sides to create a pocket, and then we're going to flip it inside out, press it, and then fold in the bottom and top stitch it closed. For the back seam, you're going to want to sew up only part of the way, leaving room for your corset entry and exit, because you want to make sure that your butt can get through the waistband. Now we are going to hem the raw edges of the top part of that slit so that they are nice and clean. Now we are ready to install the grommets. So what you're going to do is cut a small hole that is smaller than the size of your grommet and you're going to shove in the front part on the front side and then place the washer side onto the back and then go somewhere where you're not going to damage the surface underneath and hammer it so it folds down that back piece over top of the washer. It is very difficult to make grommets look good. So practice makes perfect. If this is your first time, try it on a scrap piece first and make sure you use some sort of stiffer fabric. Otherwise the grommets will just pop right out. Now we are going to sew the corset panel to the top waistband outside of the grommet so that we can still obviously do up the corset. And lastly, we're going to make a small tie for the corset to do it up. And to do that, just fold in the edges 
of your long tube. And then once those are pressed down, you fold it in half again and sew up the two raw edges and you are good to go. And to finish off the skirt, just hem the bottom. It's easiest to hem a circle skirt if you iron it first and then stitch it. Now let's see what the final skirt looks like. Okay, that was it. As you can see, I can do my regular kind of B-roll, me wearing the product. It's not made for my size, obviously, it's for my client. But I just wanted to make a few notes if you were to make this at home yourself, because once she got it and tried it on at home, since we couldn't really do a fitting with COVID and all that, she found that the corset part gaped a little bit on her, so what she's going to do is stitch down one side of the corset panel so it's stuck down to the edge of the skirt and then on the other side she's going to put either velcro or snaps to help it lay flat and not gape out funny when she wears it because that's a problem we didn't foresee having because it laid flat on my mannequin but Sometimes what you envision in your head doesn't always work in practice and you have to make adjustments. We're human, it's normal. And yeah, I just wanted to put that little caveat there. So if you do try to make this at home, I would do those few changes just to make sure you don't have a weird gapey mess. Or you could also go the route of doing a double circle skirt so you just have extra fabric and it has less chance of like pulling and tugging at your skin just below the waistband because with a circle skirt it goes out but sometimes it doesn't always flow on your tummy <laughs> it's a little snugger so yeah that's another way you could possibly fix that little issue but yeah that's the skirt <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's video check back in with me every other Friday or Saturday depending on the week because 
girls got more than one job. So <laughs> don't always have time to film everything on time. But yeah, hope you have a good rest of your day and thanks for watching. Bye.